and and I had uh, I I had been trying to write a whole bunch of songs up there, and luckily I met a man who got me a record label, Monitor Records. And then when I came down, uh, I studied uh, playwriting at, at Yale for one year, and I came down to the city a couple of times, and I met a man. Welcome to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Country music continues to lose some of the greatest and biggest names in its illustrious history this year. The fraternity was rocked with news of another beloved artist who passed way this week, adding to the long list of those who have crossed over to the other side. Although Billy Ed Wheeler is not among the common names that everyone is familiar with, he was instrumental in penning down some of the greatest hits ever sung. These include classics sung by the likes of Johnny Cash and Kenny Rogers, among a host of other country greats. His songs include Jackson, which won Grammy Awards Johnny Cash and June Carter, The Reverend Mr. Black, Desert Pete, Anne, High Flying Bird, The Coming of the Roads, It's Midnight, Ode to the Little Brown Shack Out Back, Cold Tattoo, Winter Sky, and Coward of the County, which inspired a 1981 television movie of the same name. These songs have been performed by over 160 artists, including Judy Collins, Jefferson Airplane, Bobby Darin, Richie Havens, The Kingston Trio, Neil Young, Kenny Rogers, Hazel Dickens, Florence and the Machine, Kathy Matea, Nancy Sinatra, and Elvis Presley. Jackson was also recorded by Joaquin Phoenix and Reese Witherspoon for the movie Walk the Line. Wheeler was inducted into the Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame in 2001, the West Virginia Music Hall of Fame in 2007, and the North Carolina Music Hall of Fame in 2011. Wheeler was known for his distinct writing style of incorporating rural life in, to his lyrics of which the best example is Jackson. The song encompasses a spirited conversation between a husband and wife and is considered one of the iconic tracks of old country music. He received his first guitar and started writing songs while in junior high school. He is said to have worked as a paperboy and a laborer for a local coal company to make ends meet for his family. Much of the experiences he gathered during these times have also been penned down and set to song. After a stint as a student pilot in the Navy, Wheeler enrolled in the Yale School of Drama and pursued theater. His career spanning six decades or more also included several notable plays and musicals. Wheeler was also an author and apart from his own memoir, wrote several books, including two novels and two volumes of poetry. An ardent lover of anything and everything related to the arts, Wheeler was also an avid painter, sculptor, and carpenter. Wheeler died at the age of 91 and is the third this week to have been reported, along with the death of Johnny Cash's brother, Tommy, and legendary music engineer, Billy Sherrill. This brings the total of country artists who have passed away in 2024 alone to 29. These include wife of the Oak Ridge Boys lead singer, Nora Lee Allen, who was followed by Oak Ridge Boys member, Joe Bonsall. The double hit was indeed devastating for the members of the band, their crew, fans, and the country music fraternity as a whole. Others include Fran Boyd, Don Kaysen, Larry Collins, Allison Cornell, Gene Elders, Tom Foote, Kinky Friedman, William Rusty Golden, Wayland Holyfield, Mark James, Toby Keith, Dave Loggins, Mary Martin, Mojo Nixon, Sandy Posey, Joe Scaife, Margo Smith, Joel Sonier, Ronnie Stoneman, Jeremy Tepper, Pete Wade, Irv Woolsey, and Arch Yancey. All of these great musicians have made significant contributions as singers, songwriters, musicians, and more to not just the country music fraternity, but also to the music industry as a whole. They will be dearly missed.